Hello, welcome to From Blender to 5M. I am your instructor Q. In this course, I will be teaching you how to make MLOs and drawables the right way so that we can eliminate any confusion that you may have. As a result of taking this course with me, you will flow through Blender with ease to create whatever you want. I'm interested in helping those who want to make amazing MLOs and drawables without struggling and getting frustrated along the way. Who do you know is ready to create MLOs and drawables the easy way? In this course, you will learn to create any object in Blender for 5M, such as furniture, props, interiors, doors, windows, etc. You will learn how and where to get high quality materials and textures. You will learn how to export from Blender to 5M seamlessly. I know it can be difficult to find tutorials that really break it down. That is why I decided to create this course to create the course that everyone has been looking for. This is a full course on how to use Blender to create for 5M. And once you understand what you are doing, it is not as difficult or as overwhelming as it may seem. So let's dive in. The first thing that we are going to do is find a location we need to find a location and you can do this in cold walker or you can load into your server and do it i like to initially start by loading into my my own private server to find the locations for me it's just a little bit more immersive and fun and it feeds my creativity you know it's not all work it's a little play too we could play you know no harm in play so um, I've already found a location, but I'm talking right now just to give you some time if you want to load into 5M, your private server, or if you want to load up Cold Walker. Um, I'm just giving you a little bit of time to do that. If you need to pause right here, you could do that also because I would like you to come along with me to the location that we are going to be making an MLA, ML, an MLO out of. Um, if you do not have cold walker already installed on your pc you can check the de uh description of this video the notes of this video any attachments that are <laughs> included in this module just check down below um and there's a i have a link to the cold walker discord where you can uh, get the latest version of cold walker um if you prefer to use cold walker i will also have um I would assume that you already have a server or source of some sort. If you do not, I will link how you can get a server also down below. Okay. Um, is there anything else before we head over to the location? Um, I also link Blender for you also. We won't use Blender just yet, but I'll link it also. What we're going to do is use TX admin to no clip and fly over to the location. I'm not going to drive because I just take a little long um so we're gonna fly what and i have i actually have my no clip uh keybind so we are going to fly to the location again you can use cold walker or load into your server to do this we have a full playground to play with um but i chose something that a building that i felt would be the most efficient when uh teaching you how to create an mlo out of it so we're gonna go over here a little bit past the ranch i don't know what it's called i think it's called like a ranch mafia ranch i don't know <laughs> don't call me on it just look where i am um and you, hopefully you can try to get to this location as well it's just this little hut right here and what i would like to make out out of it is i would like to turn this little hut shack into something like a hacker's lounge hut um i would love i hope i would prefer it if you actually were in a server and had admin power so that i because there i'm going to be no clipping through the building and i would like you like you to participate um so that you yourself can get a feel for um the overall size of this place um but yeah we're gonna do a hacker store i'm gonna show you how to we're gonna open up the door 
we're going to create a window this is the perfect location there's one door there's one window not a whole lot to like not a whole lot of complications i would say so we're going to open up the door we're going to open up the window um also if we come over here to this uh garage-esque type shindig my thingy <laughs> we are also going to put a garage door on this <clears throat> barnyard um so i'm going to show you how to do that as well <clears throat> we are going to retexture one of these buildings either the hut or the garage i think we're going to do the garage not the garage the hut the hackers lounge hut building we're going to retexture the exterior um of the building um so yeah this is a like i said a full course that will give you exactly what you need at the very least we are going to re retexture this hut if we have where it's a small possibility that we might retexture some other things around here also i will show you how to like if there's anything around that you don't like like these barrels or boxes i will show you how to remove them um and i'll sh also show you how to use already created gta 5 assets um in your mlo as well um let me just change the time really quickly because it's starting to get dark and i want it to be bright and let me freeze the time so that it'll stay bright while we are here okay so what we're going to do next is just clip through the building um so that we can walk inside another reason why i chose this location is because you can actually walk inside um, whereas a lot of locations do not have a ground and so if you were to clip inside you would fall through well being that we can't walk in here um, once we open the door we'll fly back into the server and i'll show you um it'll you'll be able to experience what this building feels like with an open door and window um you see that at some points the interior or world disappears that is because there are occlusions occlusions around and they have to be removed before for this mlo to work properly so if at any time you are creating an mlo and you notice that maybe your character disappears or the world around you disappears more than likely it's because you didn't remove the occlusions okay all right so we are going to head over to blender now i just wanted to show you what we're going to be working on just to give you a little taste maybe maybe can get you a little excited um and show you that uh, we're not doing anything a big project just something to, to get you through there and you know get you started so that you don't miss a step a lot of times it could be so much information and you might miss a step and you can you feel like you did everything right but there was one thing that you just missed because there's so much so much going on no we were working from the ground up starting small and to produce something amazing all right so i will meet you over in blender again i will provide a link to blender if you don't already have it hopefully you do i will be working from the latest version of blender currently as yeah so i'll see you there okay